Hi, I'm Dr. Azma Putra. Today, let's discuss about false vibrations. When was the first time people exposed to vibrations? In the ancient time, maybe the earthquake is the source of vibrations. But everything changed since the industrial revolutions. With the inventions of electric machinery, high speed engine, and with inventions of lightweight material, the vibration problems become even more challenging. So what is actually the force vibration? Let's say if we have a flexible structure and we attach a rotating machine as a source of vibrations, if we know the equivalent stiffness of the system and the equivalent mass, then we can easily determine the natural frequency of the system, which is proportional to the square root of the ratio of the stiffness and the mass. Now let's first set the speed of the machine. We turn it on. And now we have the flexible structure vibrates. Assuming we can measure the force injected by the machine and we can also measure the vibration amplitude of the structure, we will see that the frequency of vibration is the same as the forcing frequency from the machine, which relates to the speed of the engine. If we increase the speed, the frequency of vibrations also increases. And if we happen to set the speed to coincide with the natural frequency of the system, then we end up with high level of vibrations, which is known as resonance. So the force vibration is the case where a structure is forced to vibrate with frequency the same as the frequency of the source. The excitation frequency can be lower than the natural frequency, can also be greater, but if the excitation frequency is the same as the natural frequency, then the system will end up with resonance, the case that must be avoided in engineering applications. Hey, if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also visit my website. Thank you and see ya!